The families, they said, although it's much more easier to live up the mountain, they find it's better they live here even if it's dry and the water source is far, because at least they want to have accessibility of education for their children. They want to have accessibility to health. They want to be accessed by development. In essence, they say, if we go up the mountain, then we are cut away from development and we are left behind by everybody else. <laughs> Ah, good. They want to have access to education, they want to have uh, access to health. We really find it very important and to be able to help the village of Larashi. Our vision is to address the poorest of the poor, their problems. We feel this village is uh, one of the poorest of the poor, the most neediest communities, among even the neediest. If water is failed in the village, the school will be able to operate because water will be available for, for the children to have their meals. The teachers will be able to, to come because there's water. It will reduce also the time spent going to fetch water by the women so that they can use that time for other uh, positive activities. I think those are the advantages. And generally, overall, it will impact positively in terms of health for this community.